that the period of time before the Big Bang was extremely cold, and it was empty of everything but empty space, and that empty space carried energy that stretched the universe out to this enormous size and into the initial state before the Big Bang. But there are also alternate theories to cosmological inflation which tell us what caused the initial conditions that would eventually give rise to the Big Bang. There's a theory there may be extra dimensions in the universe. So imagine that we, we're just living on a sheet of paper, let's say. Then there are theories where here's our universe floating around and there can be another universe floating around. So there are more spatial dimensions and we're just on a sheet floating around in this bigger multiverse. And then you can ask the question, well, what happens when they collide together? And one of the theories about what caused the Big Bang is that actually what it was, was two of these sheets, or brains they're called, that they collide together and separate. And when they collide together, they heat themselves up and you get something that looks like a Big Bang on that sheet of space and time, if you like. So that's another different theory for what happened before the Big Bang. Brains colliding into each other, giving rise to Big Bangs, multiverse theories, these statements might seem extremely speculative and out of touch with reality, but they do in fact have mathematical reasoning behind them. And moreover, theories describing the very early state of the universe do have experimental support.